Hi, I'm Dave Scalise. I'll be your tutor as we look at some more material related to the verbal reasoning section of the GRE, namely text completion and sentence equivalence questions. So this particular piece of material actually doubles as an exercise and some reference work. So let's take a look. These questions that we're talking about uh, test your ability to identify certain words and phrases and we're going to call them signposts. Signposts provide important evidence that mark the direction or drift of the sentence and the relationship between its elements. So you know the drill. Sentences with blanks. That's what we're going to be working on. And categorizing stuff, which is a, a basic human need and we do it all the time when we file away our lecture notes or we're organizing uh, text material for an exam. Uh, it enables us to be more efficient, may promote comprehension, and even help our cognitive thinking. It may even increase our accessibility to uh, the words that are eluding us on this particular exam section. Because a signpost, by definition, Webster's definition, is a sign that gives us information, such as direction. Now, that's a great metaphor, because figuratively, a signpost can act as guidance or a clue to complicated issues, and that can help us. Let's move on. There are probably four main categories of signposts. Uh, the first ones we're going to call opposition. These are signposts that hold different elements, phrases, or parts of the sentence in opposition or contrast. These are probably uh, more in number than the others. That's why we had we're going to tackle them first. Contrasting clues that have appeared on the GRE include these words. Now, uh, you better memorize them. Remember them somehow. You can't write them on your wrist and take them into the exam with you. That's not permitted. But they signal something, so they should uh, beep or glare or something when you run across them in a sentence because they become increasingly important. Here are the ones. And now we've got an exercise upcoming, as I promised. Look at the directions up top and my suggested answers at the bottom. Four sentences. Try these. Let's proceed to another signpost. These are signposts that hold elements of a sentence in apposition, agreement. So what you see here is two clauses or two parts of the sentence or two phrases that tend to complement or, or reinforce one another. So they're connected in some way. It's for you to find the relationship between these two or more words or phrases, which will help you identify the correct words. Complementary clues that have appeared on the GRE include these 18 very helpful. So when you see these words, you understand that they are tying together two similar parts and pieces of the sentence. Now here's another exercise. Directions on top. Answers below. Begin. Two more signposts, one that indicates cause and effect. So oftentimes there can be a causal relationship between elements in the sentence. And here we have eight that demonstrate some kind of causal connection. And lastly, we have signposts that help to illustrate or explain elements of a sentence. They may amplify, elaborate, or expound. And words that accompany these clues may include these phrases. Watch for these. Even a piece of punctuation may be considered. A signpost. One last exercise. Directions above, answers below. Try it. Now, good luck on the practice sets. Remember the signposts. They'll be helpful for you.